Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron Cichlids. Uh, thanks for joining. We're gonna do a video today on our medicated food that we make. Um, first and foremost, um, this medication is, is like no other. Um, it comes with our packet of food and it comes with a medication packet. Um, most of you, when you have a sick fish, you don't know what's wrong with your fish. And that's fine, that's normal, that comes with years of experience. So what we offer um, that we designed many, many, many years ago for our fish, because we raised thousands and thousands of fish, is what we call more of a shotgun approach for treating your fish. So let's say your fish has a bacterial infection or it has ick or it has a, a fungus, fin rot, whatever. Uh, some of the very easy to notice diseases are easy to identify. But what people don't realize is a lot of times you're gonna get a secondary infection. Um, it's just like if you cut yourself, it heals up and you think everything's fine, but you get a secondary infection from that wound. Uh, fish are the same way. So if you have no idea what's wrong with your fish, but you can see something's wrong, this is by far the best method um, on the market today as far as we're concerned. Um, we know everybody has opinions, but on this food here, it treats bacterial infections, it treats uh, gram-negative, gram-positive bacterial infections, it treats things like bloat, Popeye, uh, fungus, fin rot, uh, internal parasites is what it's really designed mainly for, uh, because that's something you really can't see, and people just look at the fish poop and they, they start to see maybe stringiness or a uh, different color and they start thinking oh my goodness my fish have parasites but necessarily most of the time they probably don't um, this medication is designed for you to mix it up at home if you know without a doubt what's wrong with your fish um, not only will this treat it but then you also know other products that you can get so if you have a, an external uh, parasite like ick or flukes, um, anchor worm, things like that, you're also going to want to treat with a uh, tank medication like Ridex, uh, Ridic, excuse me, not Ridex, Ridex is for your septic tanks, uh, Ridic, um, uh, Paragard, uh, Copper Safe, any of those medicines that are meant for external. Um, this food is meant for them to uh, eat it and only eat it for a couple days. Um, so, when you order this food online, you're going to get a bag of food. Um, on the back, there should be a uh, instructions QR code and then a, a website link. Um, this is going to be more for Amazon and then the medication packet will be inside. For us, when we ship it, when you buy it directly from me, you're going to get a bag of food. You're going to get a medication packet. The red ones are for 8 ounce also has a QR code on the front. You can scan that QR code. Uh, it'll bring you directly to the website for the mixing instructions. If you um, purchase it straight from us, you're also gonna get a instruction sheet. Um, this is gonna walk you through what we're doing today. Um, but in case you lose it, like we said, there's a QR code. Um, for you tech savvy people, just scan that, and boom, it takes you right to the website. So we're going to get into how to mix this. So when you first get this, you're going to get exactly what we talked about. The instructions say, for this case, for the 8 ounce package, use the entire contents of the medicine packets and a half a cup of dechlorinated water. We like to use uh, like spring water, uh, we're on a well, we can even use it from the tap, but it has to be dechlorinated water. You don't want to take tap water, half a cup of it and then add it because you're going to be adding you know chlorine and ammonia so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this food I make these things child proof now <laughs> dump it all into the bowl all of it not half all of it 
The medicine packet's also got a tear off top right here. This is what you're going to see. This has a mixture of uh, all different types of medicines, garlic, Epsom salt. You'll the, be able to smell it right away. It's hitting me in the nose right now. Yeah, that garlic is uh, is uh, livestock grade garlic. That's pure garlic powder. Uh, man, it smells like grandma's yeah, kitchen strong. when I was oh a kid God. growing up making spaghetti. All right, next step is you're going to take a half a cup of water. Like I said, this is all in the instructions. Just dump it in there. Take a spoon, preferably not your wife's most favorite kitchen spoon. Mix it all up. Mix it real good. It's going to get wet. It's going to get sloppy. You're letting that food absorb that water in the meds right now. So after you mix it really, really good, every square inch of it, that salt will dissolve, the medications dissolve, and then you take this and you set it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. If you guys have brine shrimp or miso shrimp handy, we always keep it in the freezer in the fish house. Snap off a chunk, thaw it out, put it in there. If you've got fish that are picky eaters, you're going to want to add something to it to entice them to eat it. Um, just like when you have a hot dog and you, you hide a pill in the hot dog for your dog, same thing. The mesis and the, or the brine shrimp help hide that medicine flavor. Uh, there's quite a bit of garlic in here, so usually uh, that helps mask it. But you can see how it's kind of moist. You, see, you can see the liquid in here. You give it 30 minutes, and then what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this. We've already mixed up a batch this morning, let it sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then it comes out clumpy, okay? So you completely absorbed all the water. There's no moisture in there at all. It's all pretty, slightly moist, it's relatively dry. We don't try to dry this out. We want it as fresh as possible. So just mix it up a little bit more, get rid of some of those clumps. Now, at this stage, you can do several things with it. What, most, what we recommend here is to divide it up into small Ziplocs. So you can get even the smaller Ziplocs for like your kids' lunches type of thing. So you're gonna wanna feed this food, you're gonna wanna feed this food uh, twice a day. Um, and you're not going to want to feed any other food while you're doing this. Um, as per the instructions, feed it twice a day for 10 days for most ailments uh, and only feed this food. So what you're going to want to do is just take this food, use a bigger spoon of course. Let's say that's all you need for your fish for five days. You don't want this to be in the refrigerator for more than five days or it can start to spoil uh, because it is wet. So you take the food. We like to, you can do several things. If this is gonna be in the refrigerator, just leave it in the refrigerator like this. Just take some out when you feed it. If you're gonna stick it in the freezer, okay, you just smush it, okay? I like to just take something flat Smush it out nice and flat, like that, and then I put it in the freezer. And then it freezes, just like any other fish food, it freezes flat. So after you're done with the first five days, you can take this out of the uh, freezer, put it in the refrigerator, let it thaw out, feed it for five days. You can also take a magic marker, you can mark it on what day you put it in the refrigerator, and five days later, whatever's left, feed it or throw it away. If you freeze it whole in the freezer like this, you can basically just break off a chunk of it, snap off a corner, and you can take it frozen, and you can just toss it in and feed the fish. That's all. That's, an, that's one method. The other method is you can feed it to them like we described. 
And another method uh, that we like um, is you can take these silicone trays, um, ice cube trays, they make them that are square, they make them round, they make them gumdrop. Just take these, fill them up with food, it's kind of self-explanatory, flatten them out pretty good, and then stick them in the freezer. Just And then after a couple hours, you can pop them out and then just cut them up. If it comes, if you get the little silicone um, um, ice cube trays that are like teardrops, just do it like this, pop them out, and then put them in a bag in the freezer, and they'll be like frozen chicken nuggets or frozen french fries. They're already frozen. You can take out 10, 12, whatever. Um, this is an easy method if you don't want to keep thawing it out in the refrigerator and you just take this you know, cube basically that you cut off and you just toss it into the tank. So this is all you want to feed for 10 days. So per the instructions, you're also going to want to gravel siphon the tank every two days. Okay? You're going to want to add stress coat by API. Uh, we've been using that for 30 plus years three or four times the recommended dose. So what you're doing with a gravel siphon is if the fish have an internal parasite and if that's what you're treating, they will expel the parasite in their waste. Well, as you know, especially with African cichlids, they like to sift through the sand. Chances are they could pick that parasite up or another fish could pick that parasite up. So that gravel siphon is important. It helps remove um, any of the parasites that aren't totally dead. Um, once you have completely cured the tank and you think it's good to go, just start checking your parameters, uh, you know, more often. Fish usually don't get sick unless they're stressed out or there's a parameter change like a pH or a temperature um, or you've got a bully, um, things like that. If you're treating a severe sunken belly, then you're probably going to want to treat for 15 days or up to 21 days. Um, and then you're going to want to fatten the fish up. It's going to be real skinny until it starts to get more nutrition. So when you have a parasite inside the fish, the parasite also consumes calories. So it may or may not be consuming more than the fish needs for the day and the fish will get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. Kind of like somebody on a deserted island who loses a lot of weight. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, as soon as you think they're healthy, start feeding them more, start giving them miso shrimp. Miso shrimp is really good for them, it's very fatty. You gotta start putting weight on them or they're still gonna look skinny and you're still gonna think they have an internal parasite, even though they probably don't. Also realize that with any medication, any medicated food, just like us humans going to the doctor, it's only maybe 70% effective, 80% effective. It's not, this is not some magic food that you feed it to your fish and all of a sudden they're better. If the fish is too far gone or it's a serious viral ailment, this may not help. Okay, so don't, don't think that this is a miracle cure, um, but it helps, it helps, I don't know, Thousands and, we, and thousands. We have thousands of people that uh, have people. used this in it. it. It helps save their whole tank. It just uh, We get testimonials probably every other day, every other week. I mean, somebody's saying, thank you so much, my fish were sick. And it's just something that we have done for many years, but there was no way for me to deliver it to you guys, the public. So our first batch, when we first started doing this, we would put it in a little tiny bottle and you guys can remember the days where it was in liquid form. But now, we've upgraded technology and it's a dry packet. So when you get this, now you don't have to mix it up right away. If you get this and your fish aren't sick and you just have this, most people buy this just to have it. Kind of like a Friday evening, my fish are sick, what do I do? The reality is, is you're not going to be able to go to any local fish store and find all the medication that you need to treat your fish. It just, they're not available. We use a lot of medications to make this mix. 
It would cost you probably 150 plus dollars just to buy all these medications separate. And then you wouldn't know the dosage of that. We've done this for, shoot, probably 15 years now. Um, you can have a shelf life of just this without opening it up now because of the dry medication for at least a year. So if you get this food and you don't need it right away, just put it aside until you need it. You can mix it up pretty quick as we showed, 30 minutes. This stuff, just us sitting here talking, you can already see. You see there's liquid on the bottom before. Just a little tiny now. bit of moisture left. The liquid's almost gone. The pellets are sucking it up. So now when the fish eat the pellets, they're gonna get the medicine. Um, you don't have to worry about taking out any chemical filtration. This is a medicated food. You don't need to remove carbon or purigen or chemipure or anything like that. Let the filters run as normal because the medication is getting inside of the fish. It's not floating around the tank where you have to worry about its effectiveness. Medication works much better when it's in the fish's body. Just like us, most medications we tank are tablet form, shot, injection, IV. That's the way it works the best inside of the body of the fish. Um, that's basically it guys. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, I don't think there's anything much more to explain. Just follow the instructions. Yeah, if you're, you're treating in three days, they look better. You got to keep treating and just like you go to the doctor and they tell you to do it for a week and you feel better three days after, you got to do it all the way or it'll come back. Just like Hunter says, you got to follow the instructions, you got to treat it until it's gone. You should be able to notice by your fish's behavior that it's doing better. They should be more robust, the fins should be up, they should be jumping around the tank a little more, they should be more aggressive when it comes to eating, they should be more social. Continue to feed them for at least those 10 days. Um, don't use this medication if you don't think that there's anything wrong with the fish. We don't recommend medicating fish unless you have a problem that you have identified or you're pretty sure that you have a problem and you need to treat it. We don't just throw medicine at fish whenever we feel like it, like quarantine, it's just not good. They'll gain a, they'll, they'll build up a immunity towards it and then eventually it won't be as effective. Um, this is really popular for people who like to do a, kind of like a cleanse once every three months. Yeah. If you've got uh, a lot of tanks and you've got a lot of money wrapped up in them and you love them, what you do is, let's say every quarter, every three months, take some of the food, feed your fish this every day, twice a day for three days. If there's anything inside of them, that parasite or anything that is at a, let's say, a beginning stage, this will knock it out before it, it grabs a good foothold on the fish where you have to treat it for 10 days. Don't treat for much more than maybe three or four days as a precaution, uh, as a cleanse, so to speak. Um, and that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, all this information is on the website as well. And uh, thank you very much for your support.